Hey, this is a TVT against Judge. Tony El Chino versus Judge. Um, you should tell me which league you're in now. I know you started in bronze, but I doubt you're still in bronze, are you? Uh, but, you know, it depends on how many games you've played. But so far, you're winning, like, 8 bajillion percent of your games. So I would assume that if you play enough, you'll get to uh, Opening two racks, I guess you're going to do the, the, the two racks poke like you've done in the past. Um... The longer you delay your CC beyond four minutes in TVT, the worse. But, you know, there's different ways to play it. I guess, especially if your opponent isn't expanding, it doesn't really hurt you not to be expanding. It looks like he's kind of going for Marine Hellion Elevator. Yeah, he's going for eight Marines, four Hellions, and one Medivac, which is the standard Marine Hellion Elevator opening. Um, but here you come to poke when, right when he's got the stuff that he wanted to, to have. Never attack a bunker in the early game. It's not worth it. And I think you know that, and so you're going home. So let's see if that um, six minute poke was, was reasonable. 50 plus combat shield started, and you didn't have combat shield started, and you didn't have 950. You did, wait, I don't know. Yeah, you did have it started. So this is good. This is good. Boom. So you poked beautifully. I, you know, I don't know about the poke. It's been winning a lot of games for you, so I'd keep doing it until it starts. But it's not a tactic that's very reasonable uh, at higher levels, because if they see an immediate two racks with add-ons, they're just going to bunker, and then what can you do? Like this guy did. He got a bunker, and now what can you do? So he's just doing a four hellion drop. Uh, you've got Marauders. This should theoretically do nothing. But it all kind of depends on if you notice it. And it looks like you did because you're rallying all your guys back there. So now he's expoing. You're not. Uh, your infrastructure is working its way up to pretty huge for one base. So you got a five building infrastructure. And don't really have the income to support it. And you're not. It doesn't seem like you're planning to get your, your, na your natural anytime soon. Why are you still making army? at this point. Plus, from your perspective, I don't even think you know whether he expanded, because, I mean, you scouted early with an SCV, but then later you came back and you saw a bunker here, so you got to assume that he took this expo, even though he didn't. Um, so just sitting back and, and piling up army is kind of scary. So he does his Hellion drop uh, when you sitting back ready for it, ready for it. you're not ready for it anymore, and he does it. That sucks. Um, you notice how it takes four Hellion shots to kill an SCP? So, Hellions aren't really that scary anymore. Hellion drops aren't really that good, unless you uh, react and drop them. Like, if you chase his Hellions with your SCP, they all go into a big scene like this, and then they come back and get another shot. So, at the beginning of this harass, it was doing... Again, losing even losing 12 workers isn't going to hurt you because you have too many workers and you don't have a natural. But let's just talk about what your reaction to this Hellion Rash should be. When you move your workers away like this, it, it piles them up in a little in a little pile because Hellions can get big hits. When you attack towards him, it piles your guys up in a little, in a little stack. Like this. Um, you basically don't want to be running away or attacking. Just let your guys keep mining and rally all your buildings down there and start attacking his Hellions. He'll get a few kills, but it's not going to be nearly as drastic as if you either chase him or run away. Um, one thing you can do is, if he's got all of his Hellions here, uh, you can leave these guys mining and just take the guys on these three patches that he can reach and move them uh, a little bit away. And then if he starts to chase them and you can see that they're lining up, then you can just grab the forward. Like, if, if you have a line right here, grab half the line and move it up this way and then couple guys down to minerals and so you know just kind of generally splitting the way you do with your marines but hellions are so susceptible to concussive shelled marauders that, that it's really hard for him to get much done with a hellion drop and so you know we all get unlucky sometimes and lose a bunch of crap so the real problem wasn't the hellion drop i mean it killed 12 workers but after killing 12 workers you're still you're still on 22 i'm surprised you're only on 22 workers it's 13 minutes in did you cut workers you must have you must have cut workers um, so that shouldn't have hurt you too much, but it did because you cut workers. Uh, but the, the real big deal is that you never exploded. You did. 
So he's he's got more than double your income right now, and he's doing another drop. Care. And you're doing this. Kind of, there's a ticking clock on on your build, your one base, and with no like, even though you threw down that second command center, any expo that comes later than seven is a one base. Uh, because you have workers. So this this push has to kill him. And it came so late that he's kind of guaranteed to have siege tanks. And it's hard to push into siege tanks with siege tanks, especially when you don't have more than him. And your infantry is all completely useless because he has a bunker in siege tanks. So your build just was kind of invalidated by his build. And the build that you went for... It's really easy to get stuck like this because as Terran, we have no problems defending. That's why early expos are so important in TBT is because both of us can become, at, at the drop of a hat, immune to the other guy's frontal pushes. And with a turret ring, you can become immune to drops. So if you're immune to drops and you're immune to frontal pushes, that just means I get to keep these two bases. Now, him keeping these two bases wouldn't be a problem if you had three of your own. If you had a siege contain right here, this is a great position to be containing him from. Um, but if you had three bases and you're containing him here, everyone would be like, wow, Red's going to starve to death, you know? But because you're basically not mining back home, this this contain isn't helping you. Still haven't landed that. Um, the drops from him. He just did two little drops, and the combined, they did a total of almost no damage. But they just really threw you off. You, did, you, weren't, like, you weren't ready for it or something. You weren't expecting it. But he shouldn't have. Now he's gonna do another one. Uh, and, th and this is something like any time you you push in and you can't push any further, he feels safe, but he also feels trapped. So what is he gonna do when he feels both safe and trapped? He's gonna drop. I mean, this is the only thing he can. Because it's not like he's gonna pull SCVs and charge through a through a choke down into your tanks. Um, you're starving to death. You need to get more drops. So you, you never really started mining off this second base, but now it's also going to die. And it just all just kind of went to hell. So I've seen similar, similar really well where you take, like, after that first marine poke, you take like a six or seven and you go marine tank from there and then set up a contain outside of his base. And I think that this is a reflection of you knowing what you wanted to do and doing it, but not having the economy behind it to back it up. So, just, you know, take your expo quicker and uh, do the same thing, but with money, and you'll, you'll be fine. Also, I don't know why you, you seemed to know that he was going to drop. Oh, you saw the medevac, that's why. So you knew a drop oh, was coming, and you, you immediately rallied your racks back Good home attack. and started to defend against the drop, right? You rallied back here, and you're like, all right, he's coming to drop. I should Research. defend against it. Okay. But once you know that he is the type of person who's done one drop, that means he's going to do more almost always. Uh, and the price to make yourself completely immune to drops is very low. Uh, if you put a turret here, a turret here, and a turret here, and a turret here, and a turret here, and a turret here and maybe one turret here. That's seven turrets, 700 bucks. You are now completely 100% immune to drops. Uh, and then you just rally all your guys to the choke here so that if he tries to do a drop coming in from this side or coming in from here to, to, to surprise you, then you, your guys are all in position. And uh, you reinforce in waves. So you rally your guys here, but you reinforce in waves across the field. And that means that every any given moment throughout the game, you've always got an army here that can deal with drops. And then you're just not afraid of drops anymore. So, yeah, late expo didn't handle the drops properly, that kind of stuff. Uh, just just losing those 12 SCVs that happened to the first drop, that's already $600 of damage that his drop has done, not to mention the other two drops that I'm sure did a lot more than that. So the price of 700 bucks to make yourself completely immune to drops is a price well paid or well worth paying or whatever. Um, you don't want to fall into the mistake of... of, of playing against a guy who's going to do a frontal push and spending 700 bucks on turrets that can Complete. be bad but uh <laughs> i i noticed that you're trying to turret ring but you're turret ringing the wrong side right this is not where you want your turret ring you, you want your turret ring to be along the, the outer edge of your base you want to say you can't come in you don't want to say once you're here 
you know, something, something. I don't know what these turrets even do. They don't do anything. That's, that's a silly place to have turrets. Um, because a turret here is going to kill anything that tries to fly past it. So there's no point in having a turret here when anything that tries to go there will already be dead. And the same with a turret um, here. It's going to kill anything that tries to hug the right wall. So nothing can ever make it to these turrets. So you don't need them there. Um, so anyway, uh, I think you know why you lost that one already. And that's just some general.